Gabriel Dubier, a dynamic preacher and an authentic teacher of the Word of God. He's an author and speaker also known as a young entrepreneur and founder of Sons of Korea International Ministries. We wish, as you follow these teachings, your life will be transformed and renewed. Enjoy. The message is simple. A place called Goshen. But the purpose tonight is to introduce the thoughts of God based on a scripture and based on the times we are in. Because in this time, news are releasing uh, their informations. People are speaking different things, theories about what is happening right now. I think it's safe and sound for the church to know what God is saying about this time than what people are saying about this time. And it is responsible for us to know what God is saying more than what people are saying on, on, on these times. And my goal by bringing this message to you in your homes, in your families, is to bring light in your spirit and explain to you what is happening and what is the thought of God behind all of this. If men have something to say, if uh, great uh, public news have something to say, God has something to say. With humbleness of the heart, I'm not pretending having the truth, the full truth about what God is saying about this time. Everyone can have a truth about what God is saying. But one thing I can assure you, is what I'm about to say to you, it's coming directly from the throne of the Lord. And connecting to this channel right now, it is connecting to the channel directly from heaven to know what God is saying about this time. It's without pride I'm saying this. It's by testimony of what the Lord spoke to me in this time and in my times in prayer. And I believe I have the Spirit of God. And I believe God is about to speak to you. Lend me a bit of your time and listen to me. And let me connect what the times we are in and the message I'm bringing to you right now. Help me and let us go in the book of uh, Genesis. Genesis chapter... 46 verse 1 to 4 46 1 to 4 the bible says i will read only in uh, in english so the interpreter will continue when i will be speaking the Bible says, And Israel took his journey with all that he had, and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices. Genesis chapter 46, verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, and Israel took his journey 
Israel or Jacob, took his journey with all what he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices unto the God of his father Isaac. Verse 2, And God spoke unto Israel in the visions of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here I am. He said, I'm God, the God of your father. Fear not to go down into Egypt. Fear not to go down into Egypt. For I will, I will there make you a great nation. The purpose of Jacob and his whole family to go in Egypt was to become a great nation in there. Mm. The purpose God is telling Jacob the purpose of me taking you in Egypt fear not to go there. My goal is to make you a great nation in Egypt. I will go down with you into Egypt. I will be with you in Egypt. It reminds me something about the man going up in heaven saying something. Go into all nations and he told them to do what they have to do. And he said, for I will be with you. If you connect it to what God is saying to Jacob, you can understand what Jesus was saying to his disciples and apostles. Egypt what Egypt was for Jacob, it what nations are for us, the church. <laughs> My God. And I will also surely bring you up again. Who gave a promise that we come back to take them up again? <laughs> Jesus said to his disciples, the, the angel said to the disciples, the way he's going up is the way he's come down. And Joseph shall put his hand upon your eyes. And Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried out the, Jacob their father and their little ones and their wives in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent them to carry. And they took their cattle, their goods, which they had gotten in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt, Jacob and all his seed with him. Verse chapter 47, verse 5 to 6, the Bible says, And Pharaoh spoke unto Joseph, your father and your brethren are come unto you. The land of Egypt is before you. In the best of the land, make your father and your brethren to dwell. In the best of the land, in the best of the land, which land? Egypt. Inside of it, there is a best of that whole land. Pharaoh is telling Joseph, take your father and your brothers. Take them in the best of the land. The land is Egypt. The best of the land is the land of Goshen. So there were a land in a land. 
hari hari ubutaka mu bundi butaka and that land was called Goshen ubwo butaka bwitwaga Goshen the bible continues saying bibiliya komeza ivuga of the best of the land make your father and your brethren to dwell in the land of Goshen let them dwell and if and if you know any man of activity among them then make them rulers over my cattle verse 11 Verse 11:47 verse 11 And Joseph placed his father and his brothers and gave them in the land of Egypt there is a land and there is the possession and the in the best of the land in the land of Ramses as Pharaoh had commanded amen my message this evening is a place called Goshen we need to understand something Paul take the bible in Kinyanja Paul said something Paul said something in Colossians chapter 2 16 to 17 Colossians chapter 2 16 to 17 I'm going to read in, in English and my interpreter will read in Kinyarwanda and then explain let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holidays or in new moon or of the sabbath days which are shadow of the things to come but the body is of Christ nuko rero niyakagire ubacira urubanza kubw'ibyo murya cyangwa ibyo munwa cyangwa kubwa iminsi mikuru cyangwa kubwo kuziririza imboneko z'ukwezi cyangwa amasabato kuko ibyo ari igicucu kibizaza naho umubiri wabyo ufitwe na Kristo Paul is explaining to the church Paulo ari gusobanura gusobanura in the earlier verses just above in the earlier verses just above mu mu nzandiko zo hayishu mu bindi bice bibanza he saying something ari kuvuga ikintu to is urging them to protect themselves from false teachers of the word ari kuba kangurira kwirinda abigisha batari ubukuri he was continuing to urging them to take themselves out of false teachers of the word yarima akomeza kuba shishikariza kutifatanya naba nabigisha ibinyoma those people were teaching uh, to 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 gentle gentiles that they should do practices that are relating to the judaic uh, practices aboba abo bigisha bibinyuma bayimo bigisha abantu imigenzo abanyamahanga imigenzo ya kiyuda ya kiyuda trying to tell them that through those practices they will be agreeable to god bagerageza kubabwira yuko muri iyo mihango niyo migenzo baza bazishimirwa n'Imana among them was holy days uh, drinks uh, types of uh, of uh, of uh, of new moon feasts and all the sabbath days muri ibyo ngibyo hari harimo imihango n'amasabato ndetse n'indi minsi mikuru no Paul started explaining who is Christ differently from the laws they got and tradition they got from their elders Yesu Paulo yatangiye kwigisha Yesu utandukanye n'imigenzo bari barakuye kuba kuru bitorero kuba kuru bimigenzo and that Christ was different from uh, what they have been teaching them uh, based on laws and and tradition of men wo Kristo yaratandukanye n'imigenzo ndetse n'inyigisho bari barize now he's closing what he's been saying and he said this let no man 
Therefore judge you in meat. In meat. In meat, in, in drink. In respect of holidays. In new moon. Or the Sabbath days. Simply to say. Don't let someone who eat a type of food or drink a type of drink who 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 do, who, who rest some some feats who rest who rest Sabbath come and judge you you who who Jesus didn't give this burden to carry. Abo Kristo atigeze yikoreza iyo mitwaro. Abo Kristo atigeze yikoreza iyo mitwaro. And he saying ari kuvuga because all these things kubera yuko ibi bintu byose that are written in the laws of tradition of men byanditse mu mategeko y'imigenzo y'abantu he saying ari kuvuga they were shadows byari igicucu of the things to come. If something is a shadow, it means it's not real. If something is a shadow, it means that it is not real. So you should not attach yourself with a shadow. Because the shadow is not a reality. So he was telling them those people are respecting and are teaching you to respect things which are not even real. It was not real. It was not real. Let me tell you something. The present day Sabbath is not the real Sabbath. <laughs> it's a shadow of the real Sabbath we receive in Christ and what we receive in eternity. So don't allow someone come and judge you because you don't you don't rest the Sabbath. Because that Sabbath of today, those meats that we eat, those drink that we drink and those types of drink that we don't drink, all of it are shadows. They are not real. They are simply shadows of things to come. Those things to come was to come in the millennium and also in eternity. But that shadow is not only the shadow of the things to come. All those things were also shadows. I don't know if you're getting me. There were shadows of the body of Christ. Which means all those laws, all those, those uh, traditions of men written in the Bible, especially in the Old Testament, there are shadows to things to come in the million in eternity. Not only that it is the shadow of those things to come. It is also the shadows of the body. Of Christ. Which means all what is written in the Old Testament it is the shadow of Christ. It simply means all the Old Testament is the enrollment of what 
was revealed in Christ. Ni guhuzwa kw'ibyayishuwe muri Kristo. Which means the Sabbath is not the Sabbath. The Sabbath equal Christ. The road of Moses is not the road of Moses. The road of Moses is Christ. Moses himself is not Moses. Moses equal Christ. Everything in the Old Testament is the shadow of what Christ came with in the body. One day, Jesus took his disciples, three of them, Peter, John, and James. He took them to the mountain of transfiguration. When he reached there, he transfigured before them. And something happened. The Old Testament, all of it, is divided into two parts. The laws and the prophets. And on that day, some men came and talked with Jesus on that mountain. One was Moses. The other one was Elijah. Those two people were not only men. They were dispensations. They were dispensations. They were dispensations of the times in the old covenant. Moses was the 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 Moses was the figure of the all the laws. And Elijah was on the side of all the prophets. Simply to 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 explain this mystery which is all what is written in the book was written for me Hebrews 10 he said all what was written in the book was about me. What was written in the book? The laws and the prophets. That's why they came to find him and gave him the baton to continue the new covenant. Which means all what is written in the Bible in the Old Testament it's all about testifying who was about to come in the flesh and in the body. Which means everything that was written is manifested in Christ. But something else you need to know. Christ is not here. Yes. On earth, there are his disciples in different generations. Paul got this revelation from Jesus and understood that the church of God is actually the body of Christ. Which means the shadows in the Old Testament reveal the things to come. One. Reveal was revealed through Christ who've got the body. But did you know also that what is written in the Bible 
can also be related to what is happening to the church right now. Which means you can relate events that was was spoken in the Old Testament to relate to it about the pandemic of COVID-19, what is happening to the church right now. Which means the body of Christ have also some shadows of event in the Old Testament to be revealed and to get what is really happening to the body right now. Let me give you some examples. Uh, the Bible says about the history of, of Israel coming from the, the nation of Israel coming out of Egypt and, and uh, going through uh, the desert till in the Canaan land. But did you know that that story was written for us? That whole story, that whole scenario, that whole scenario was written for the church. I can prove you, I can show you the, 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 the work of a Christian, the work, the work. In the, the journey of a Christian based on the story of Israel coming out of Egypt to Canaan. It's a simple example. A simple example. Israel under, under Egypt oppression. Israel under Egypt simply shows the Christian still in the, under the, 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 the authority of the kingdom of darkness. When Israel came out of Egypt, something happened in the houses of Israelites. They ate the lamb. And they put the blood on the doors of their houses. Which means if you want to come out of Egypt, you need to pass through the lamp for you to be free from Egypt. And have the seal of his blood upon you. And on the door simply means in your heart. <laughs> and when they came out of that place, they passed through the Red Sea. That's why when you get saved, you are born of the Spirit. It's not only enough because you need to be born also of water. When they reached there, they drank water from the rock. It's not enough for you to, to be baptized. Speak a bit down. It's not enough for you to, 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 to pass through baptism. But you need also to drink and eat the food from heaven, which means the word of God, when you get into a local church. Did you know that when they reached there, they went, they was under the cloud? Because the cloud is also a, a, a sign of what happened to the church. After get baptized, you need to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Now, this, all this, going through Jordan River, for example, to go into Canaan land, for a Christian life, simply mean this. 
kubuzima bw'umukristo bishatse kuvuga passing through death to reach heaven guca mu rupfu kugira ngo ugere mu ijuru because our canaan land is not here on earth kuko kanani yacu ntagiri hano kwisi because paul said wait unto your city that we come from heaven kuko paul yavuze ngo mutegereze kugumurwa wanyu uzava mu ijuru so through death you can access into a, a, a place of rest and a place of of um, of uh, promises bishatse kuvuga mu rupfu ugomba ushobora kugera ijuru ndetse no so all this was signs and shadows applied to the body of Christ another example Joel said I will pour my spirit to all flesh do you know that Peter used it using it to him and the church as a pretext of being baptized in the Holy Spirit. He said that was written in the Old Testament. But he used it to explain what is happening to the church. Saying it is written in Joel but it is fulfilled to you today. That's why you see they are not drunk. They are full of the spirit to fulfill the promises of God in Joel. Which means there are things that happen in, in the Old Testament that you can relate with what is happening to the church right now because there are shadows which the body have as Christ. Hari ibintu bishatse kuvuga yuko hari ibintu byo mwisezerano rishya twagereranya nibiri kuba muri bibiye nkuko mu gihe cya Petero byagenze and among it kandi muri ibyo we can also take dushobora gufata an event ibyabaye that happened in the old testament mwisezerano rya kera and related to what is happening today tukabigereranya nibiri kuba But let us show let me show you in a scripture to testify what I'm saying. First of all for you to get a, a scripture based you can base on on what I'm saying. First Corinthians I explain it's good. But you need to understand it also based on scriptures. For your personal research and advancement of this message. And further search on the truth which is the word. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 1 and we go down. The Bible says Here Paul is speaking to the church. Paul is speaking to the church of Corinthians. He's saying this. I will simply read you will explain by yourself by the spirit of God. The Bible says Moreover brethren I will not I will not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea verse 1 Umurongo wa mbere igice cya 10 abakorino wa mbere bene data sinshaka ko mutamenya yuko basogukuruza bose bari munsi ya cyagicu kandi yuko bose baciye mu nyanja yigabanije Now he speaking to the brethren Ubu ngubu ari kubwira The brethren is the church of, of 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 God of Jesus in the today in that time. But now he is explaining to them how they should not be ignorant about something that happened now in the past in the book of Exodus. Yararimo 
Paul wants to explain something that is happening to them, but he's going to show them how it is it happened to some people in the Old Testament as an example of what they're living today. Paulo arashaka ko bamenya yuko hari ibintu byabaye mu isezerano rya kera biri kubabaho ubu ngubu as a proof of what is happening today. Ndetse nigihamye kibiri kubu. He says this verse 2 and were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Bose bakabatirizwa muri icyo gicu no muri iyo nyanja gutegekwa na Mose. And did all eat the same spiritual meat? Bose bagasangira bya byo kurya by'umwuka na bya byo kunywa by'umwuka. And did all drink the same spiritual drink? for they drank of the spiritual rock that they followed them and that rock was Christ wait he's speaking a, 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 a history in the past but showing them that that rock actually means Christ Ariko abereka ko mu byukuri icyo gitare ari Kristo. But five, but with many of them, gatano ariko abenshi muri bo God was not pleased, well pleased. Imana ni yabishimye. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Nicyo cyatunye baringikira mu butayu. Verse 6. Umurongo wa gatamala brataya. Verse 6. Umurongo wa gatandatu. Now these things were our examples. Ariko ibyo byabereyo kugira ngo bitubere akabarore eh which means bishatse kuvuga Israel had failed to believe in God and, and they died in the desert just to be an example for the reality of the body of Christ we are living today Israel yatsinzwe kuba mu butayu kugira ngo gusa bitubere urugero gwa bwitorero which means there are stories in the Old Testament that can reveal what is happening today to the church because the Old Testament was the shadow of what the reality is in the body of Christ. Let us continue the scripture for you to understand more. To the intent we should not last after evil things and they and they as they also lasted. People sat down, eat and drink and rose up to play. Eight. Neither let us commit let us commit fornication as some of them committed. And fell in one day three and th- three and twenty thousands. Now, he is telling them based on the past story to get wisdom on what was written because that was a shadow of the reality that they are living today. Nine. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of the serpents. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Eleven. Eleven. Now all these things. All these things. Happen unto them. For example, and they were and they are written for our admonition um, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Which means all that story 
iyo nkuru yose was the shadow yari igicucu of the real movie we are living today yibyukuri turi kubaho iki gihe coronavirus is something happening today coronavirus ni ikintu kiri kuba ubu ngubu is hitting nations today kiri gukuba mu bihugu ubu ngubu but let me take you in a story which is which which happened past ago which shows the reality of what is happening today and we will learn from them how we should take ourselves today as reka mbereke kimwe mu mateka y'ibyabaye mu isezerano rya kera kugira ngo tubashe kwiga ubwo tugomba kubaho muri bibiri now here's the bible says hano hari cyo bibiri yivuga there is a story that the bible is saying hari amateka bibiri iri kuvuga and i might close there kandi for today The Bible show as a man in Genesis chapter 15. Bibiliya iratwere ku muntu mu itangiriro igice cya 13. And that man is called Abraham. Uwo muntu yitwa Abraham. And that man Abraham. Kandi uwo muntu Abraham. The Lord appeared to him and told him to come out of his country and he will show him where he have to go. Imana yamubwiye kuva mu gihugu arimo ikazamwereka ikindi. And so many event happen. Kandi haba ibintu byinshi. And I'm not going to go into that. So many events happen. And in this chapter 15, God is appearing to Abraham. Abraham. Telling him promises that he is giving him to, to him. Now I'm getting to the conclusion of part one of this message. But I cannot conclude it without leaving you uh, some sweet uh, sweet uh, envy for you to to watch the next live. Ariko sinasiga ntabasigiye ikibatera kwifuza gukurikira igice kizakurikira. We see a man that God is calling to to come from a country to go in another country. And we leave all the events that happened to him. In that specific scripture, in that specific part of scripture. Uh, God is appearing to Abraham. Is giving to Abraham a promise about uh, what is about to happening to him. To happen to him. How will turn him into a great person? He will make him a great nation. And that day a, a conversation happened between Abraham and God. Kandi icyo kiganiro cyabaye mu hagati ya Aburamu ndetse n'Imana. Abraham asked God. In that same chapter 15. Of Genesis. Abraham asks God. I'm going to, to paraphrase what he was saying. He said, It's good you are telling me you're going to turn me into a great country, a great nation. But I have no kid. From from who am I going to get this this nation out of me? And God gave him a promise that he will give him a son. And God told him gave him some uh, some tips of advice of uh, of uh, of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of an offering that he have to make before God. But he never told him to put on fire because uh, when you're about to make a covenant between two parts, uh, one have to make something and you have to make another thing. God have to bring uh, Abraham to bring offerings. But God to bring the fire. But Abraham brought the offerings and put it there. As instructed by God. 
and uh, he never put the fire because the covenant was about to be made and when he was putting uh, the 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 corpse of those uh, of those um, animals all around there on the on the altar something happened some heaven came from heaven umuriro raven ibikona ibikona byavuye mijuru came uh, and came and start eating the corpse of those animals bitangira kurya ibice byizo byivyo and abraham ch- tried to chase them but already they already ate them aburamu aburamu agerageza kubyirukana ariko byo byarangije kurya and when he finished to do that arangije gukora ibyo a great sleep came upon him agira ibitotsi byinshi he was tired to wait from the fire from god to come and make it so he, he fell asleep because they were yararambiye uh, gutegereza umuriro w'Imana kumanuka gutwika arasinzira and the voice of the lord directly came to abraham uwo mwanya nyine ijwi ry'Imana riza kuri abraham as if god was telling to abraham i was waiting for this sign to happen for me to tell you what is about to happen when you 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 will become a nation what will happen because i cannot do something without revealing it to you, you abraham remember was a prophet i cannot do something without revealing it to you as a prophet of me now imana yari itegereje ibyo ngibyo ngo bibe kugira ngo ibone kumanuka imubwire uburyo izamugiramo ishyanga rikomeye kuko aburahamu yari umuhanuzi imana yagombaga kubanza kumuteguza ibyo izamukorera and god said Hanyuma imani iravuga after after uh, the raven came on the on the on the sacrifice Nyuma yuko ibikona bije ku gitambo God said uh, your your seed will be will go in a strange country Imani iravuga ngo urubuto imbuto yawe izajya mu gihugu cy'amahanga And I will make it a great nation from there Kandi nzakigira ishyanga rikomeye aho ngaho And God precise on the fourth generation I will take it back and give this land to them Kandi imana isobanura neza yuko ku rubyaro rwa kane ari bwo nzabagarura nkabaha ubu butaka There were some types of animals Hari ugoko butandukanye bw'inyamaswa that were not allowed that Israel were not allowed to eat and they were also a symbol of nations and those uh, animals that they could eat was a symbols of israel israel those animals killed on the altar was in a sign of israel being in a weak state ibyo izo nyamaswa zishwe ku gitambo zari kimenyetso cha Israeli kuba mu ntegenye and those and raven which was one of the types of of uh, of of animals that were not allowed to be eaten which was inside of nation was a type of Egypt, of Egypt coming over and take dominion over dead corpses uh, of of signs of Israelites kandi icyo gikona cyavuye mu ijuru cyari kimenyetso cy'amahanga cyangwa igiputa kumanuka kuza kurya ibyari byatambwe byibikoko bya Israeli arizo neza That's why after that it was easy for God to say I will take uh, uh, your seed to go under a, a slavery of a, of, an, of, an, of a nation and that nation uh, will will take advantage and authority over it but one day will come i will take them out of that niyo mavi imana yise ivuga yuko ubwoko cyangwa se ubwoko bwa gaburahamu buzaza gufatwa nirindi shyanga rikabujyana mu bubata and that promise was not a lie after that uh, god came down on fire and made the covenant with abraham and the story continue but the promise didn't happen during the time of abraham 
ariko isezerano n'iryabaye mu gihe cy'Aburamu didn't even happen in the time of Israel ndetse n'ibyanabaye mu gihe cy'a Israel but in the time of Jacob ariko mu gihe cy'a Yakobo there was a famine all around the world hari inzara kwisiyose and Jacob was uh, was uh, the story you know the story of, with uh, Joseph going in the in the land of Egypt and all that story no going into that murazi muri uburyo Joseph yagiye muri Egypt ntabwo ndi bujye muri iyo nkuru cyane but in that time and when they 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 reconnect with Jake, Joseph and they were about to to continue life as usual ariko muri cyo gihe igihe Joseph yongeraga guhura na Yakobo bagakomeza ubuzima nkuko bisanzwe Jacob and all his people famine was great around the world that they could not survive ariko Yakobo no muryango wose kwera uburyo bari benshi hanze y'igihugu ntabwo bashoboraga kubaho they could not live then Joseph was in Egypt where they were life and enough food ntabwo bashoboraga kubaho ariko Joseph yari muri Egypt aho hari ibyo kurya bihagije now Joseph proposed the brothers to bring the father back and for them to come in the country for them to live to continue the seed of Abraham Joseph abgira bene benese ko bazana se bakongera bakaba muri Egypt Later when uh, the brothers went to Jacob Jacob also told them let us go in Egypt for us to survive because the nation of Israel had the plan of God Nyuma bene data bene se ba ba Josephu they went to jo- to Jacob and and uh, Jacob told them let us go in Egypt for us to live there Bagiye kuri Yakobo Yakobo ababwira yuko bajya muri Egypt akabari ho baba And when they came down The Bible said there were 17 men. Without kids and wives. Included. Uh, without women included the wives. They came. And the Bible says. Jacob tell, tell to uh, Joseph tell to Pharaoh. Joseph yabwiye Pharaoh. My family is coming umuryango wanje uri kuza to live here kubaha and i want you to help them because uh, uh, of they cannot survive because there were great famine and for you to take them because uh, i've been useful to you so you can do something for me ndashaka ko baza kuba muri iki gihugu kuko aho bari bari ntago babayeho neza ndashaka rero yuko mfasha yuko baza gutura muri iki gihugu that's where we read pharaoh tell to joseph Look all the land. Reba ubutaka bwose. And take the best of the land. Ufate ubutaka bwiza. Goshen. Goshen. I will explain why they took just Goshen. Ndaza gusobanura impamvu yahisemo Goshen. And take them there they can continue with the practice of uh, shepherding uh, flocks. Ubajane aho Goshen aho bazakomeza Later Jacob met Pharaoh bless him and they talked and also left and then they went there and lived in Goshen as Pharaoh commanded like we read it Nyuma Yakobo yaje gura na Pharaoh amuhesha umugisha hanyuma baza kujya gutura muri cyo gihugu Pharaoh yasezeranye ari cyo Goshen That was called Goshen Hitwaga Goshen ubutaga bwitwaga Goshen Now Here is my message. Aha ni waru utumwa bwanje. God took Jacob and his and his sons. Imana yafashe Yakobo nabahungu be and put them in that land. Ibashira of Goshen. Ibashira mu bwo bwa Goshen. And they multiplied. Hanyuma barororoka. They become Baba After four generation as God told to Abraham Moses was born and the time of delivering the people was at door and a king that never knew Joseph appeared in, in Egypt a pharaoh who never knew Kandi farao utarigeze umenya Yosefu appeared in that time ajya ku butegetsi and started now taking advantage of Jews because they were strangers in the land and start using them to do bad works atangira gufata abisiraeli ni 
kwa atangira kubakoresha uburetwa taking advantage on them mukubabyaza mu musaruro kubera ko bari benshi data we continue on wednesday ibyo nzabikomeza kwa gatatu please invite your friend this wednesday and follow this message ndagusabye utumini chuti zawe kugi kugaya materaniro ari kwa gatatu now get this now ngaho umvibi Why God uh, why Pharaoh took uh, Israelites put them in Goshen uh, for them to be there Kubera iki Pharaoh yashize abisirari kuba muri Goshen It simply because nuko gusa simply because nuko gusa shepherd was abomination to 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 to, to Egyptians nuko ubushumba bgari ikintu kizira ku banyegiputa something which is uh, which is um, <coughs> an abomination is simply depleasing or disgusting to, to a person simply means that nuko ikintu kikizira ku muntu ari ikintu kitanejeje kandi kidakwiriye ku muntu now get something ubu umva ikintu the activity of israelites were discussing to Egyptians yari ikizira kuba nyegiputa what is that mean ibyo bivuze iki egypt egiputa symbolized isobanuye the world isi secondly icyakabiri i uh, egyptian egypt and pharaoh egiputa na pharaoh also symbolize the kingdom of darkness that rule over the world bisobanuye kandi ubwami bwo mwijima buyoboye isi which pharaoh which is the king of this darkness of the world which is satan rule over that whole kingdom mo kuko pharaoh ari nka nk'umwami wo mwijima ari we satan uyoboye isi israelite is a sign of the church israeli ni kimenyetso kitorero next when is that we tell you what goshen is But the church is Israel. Believers. I want you to know this as a Christian. Ndashaka kumenya iki nk'umukristo. Every activity you do toward your God we always be discussing to those who don't believe in your God. Ikintu cyose uzakorera Imana yawe kizaba ari kizira ndetse kidashimishije kuba twizera Imana. Today uyu munsi people are giving value to the activity of prayer just just because people are dying. Abantu bari gwa gaciro umurimo wo gusenga kubera gusa abantu bari gupfa. They are saying pray 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 God even someone who, who you know that is a porn star is saying pray. I mean bari kuvuga musenge 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 ndetse nabakina filme z'urukoza soni bari kuvuga gusenga ko yako buri wese ari today everyone is speaking about praying 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 ubu ngubu umuntu wese ari kuvuga kubijyanye no gusenga yet yesterday when everything was calm it was discussing to them kandi ejo hashize ubwo ibi byose byari bitaraba gusenga cyari ikintu badakunze Instead of going to pray they should do another things because they see no value in praying it was an abomination to them something disgusting Aho kugira ngo basenge bakoraga ibindi bintu bindi kuko gusenga cyari ikintu kikizira ndetse kitano ryoshye kuri And you know something amazing Ariko uzi ikintu kiza that activity of of shepherding uwo murimo w'ubushumba could only be done in Goshen Washoboraga gukorwa gusa <laughs> my god the shepherding activity could not be practiced in Egypt because even the land could not receive uh, the, the kind of, uh, of 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 flocks that were there kuko nubutaka ubwago nago bwashoboraga kwakira intama baragiraga but now Goshen was built a way that flows could survive and the activity of shepherding could be done in Goshen. Goshen yari yubatswe mu buryo ubushumba bushobora gukorwa. In the times of peace in Egypt, no one knew the importance of Goshen and the people of Israel being in Goshen. 
mu giye cha Egiputa na muntu n'umwe waruza gaciro ka Goshen ndetse n'amahirwe yo kwa muri Goshen When Egyptian was at peace no one knew the importance of being in Goshen Igihe Egiputa yari mu mahoro na n'umwe waruza amahirwe yo kwa muri Goshen <laughs> In the times of peace no one knew it was an abomination to Egyptians Mu giye cha mahoro na n'umwe warubizi But when you read well your Bible. When you read well your Bible. When troubles came to Egyptians. The Bible says. Except in the land of Goshen where Ezra were, nothing happened there. Uretse muri Egiputa gusa aho ngaho abisiraeli babaga na kintu cyabaye What does it mean? Bivuziki. Your only refuge ubuhungiro ganyu of the world in this time. Ubuhungiro gisi muri iki gihe It's only in one place. Ni ahantu hamwe gusa. Goshen. Goshen. In that time muri icyo gihe it was Goshen. Yari Goshen. It was in Goshen. Yari muri Goshen. But today, arikubu, it is in Christ. Ni muri Kristo. It is in the church. Ni mnyitorero. The activity that was an abomination to the world. I umurimo wari ikizira kwisi. I bless God. Ndashimira Imana. That today, kuyu munsi, President say, come all of us, let us pray. Aba tegetsi bose bari kuvuga muze mwese mureke dusenge. All of them are going to do the same activity. Bose bagiye gukora umurimo umwe. That was done in Goshen. Wakoraga muri Goshen. Hallelujah. It is the time to be in Christ. Nu umwanya wo kuba muri Kristo. Because the solution of this world. Kuko igisubizo cyise. Believe me. Nyizera. Based on informations and all news coming out. Bijyanye namakuru ndetse nibiri kuvugwa hose. Jesus is the only hope. Of this yes, world. This world only only solution of all what is happening is Christ. Not only Christ being in Christ instead of like like Israel was in Goshen that time but today being in Christ. Atari Today that time was in Goshen. When all the ten plagues came upon Egyptians. Aho ibyago byose icumi byaje ku banyegiputa. Ubuhungiro bwabo. Ubuhungiro bwabo. It was in Goshen. Gari muri Goshen. Because Goshen was living at peace when the whole world were living in in troubles. Kuko Goshen yari mu mahoro mu giye Egiputa yose yari iri mu For example, when they came a darkness all over the land. Light was shining in Goshen. When the blood turn, the water turns into blood. In Goshen they were drinking some good water. <laughs> When the locust ate everything. The locust couldn't eat whatever was of People is in Goshen. Inzige nizashoga kurya n'ikintu na kimwe muri Goshen. Today, uyu munsi there is no locust. Ntanzige zihari. There is covid. Hari coronavirus. Only place to survive this. Aha mwo nyine ho gubona uhungi. And all what will happen after. Ndetse ni bizaba nyuma. It's in Christ. Ni muri Kristo. It's in Christ. Ni muri Kristo. That time it was a place called Goshen. Today it is in the kingdom of God. We are calling you. Come in the kingdom. And survive this time. Like I told you. What happened to Israelites? Was a shadow. Of what happened that of what is about to happen and what happened to Christ and also to the body of Christ. Having the body of it. Now what happened to Israel in that time? Can also be taken as an example of what is happening to the world today. In that time, 
plagues hit the whole land of Egypt. Today, the plague of COVID hits all nations. But only place is a place of refuge. Not in a house with a name, with a pastor on it. No. But being in Christ is the refuge. Is the refuge. Every true Christian in this time have peace. If you don't have peace as a Christian in this time, check your salvation. You ain't saved. Or you backslided. Every Christian, every true Christian, in this time, because of being in Christ, they have peace. They are in good health. Even though they can be affected, they are not affected in their mind and their faith. Their heart have peace. Because as they were in Goshen, as we are in Christ. And being in the church, being part of the body of Christ, protects you so many things. Even the gates of hell cannot prevail before it. Today, take a decision. Be in Christ. Be in Christ. That place, Goshen, that time. Today is in the kingdom of Christ. Come back home. Because the kingdom of God is not about food what you eat, what you drink. About peace, joy, righteousness in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom. In this time in the kingdom, when people are crying, we have joy. We are purifying ourselves. We have peace. And we are full of the Holy Ghost. Because that is the kingdom. In this world, nowhere, there is no place people are not afraid. People are transmitting messages of being afraid, of fear. But there is a place, not outside of Egypt, it's not outside of this world. It is in this world. But it is the best of the land. It's called Goshen. It is called in Christ. Today, I call you there. As I close, the place of your peace it is in Jesus. He's a, his name is a big tower that you take refuge in. In him, you will get your refuge. He's not going to, 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 to help you to not get COVID only. Because there is also, it's, it's minimizing him because there is instruction to follow. It is minimizing him. It is, it is to, uh, uh, he will not only do that, but he will do something great for you. He will deal with your true issue. Which is your heart. Where everything, everything's of life come from. He will turn you into the kingdom of God. 
azaguhindura mu ubwami bw'Imana. He knew there would be the Holy Spirit. Muri wowe hazaba mu umwuka wera. Righteousness. Gukiranuka. Peace. Amahoro. And joy. If you want to receive him today, pray with me. A simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I recognize that you are the only king and the only savior of humanity. There is no other superhero beside of you. Superman is a myth. Superman ni mystery. Is a mystery. Nugiru. But you are kowe. You are reality. Uri ukuri. You are the superhero. Ni wowe muntu uhambaye of this time. Which gihe? Take my life. Fata ubuzima bwanje. I give it to you. Ndabuguhaye. Receive me. And I allow you to enter in my heart. Today, I come out of the authority of the kingdom of darkness. I submit under your authority, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. From today, If you made this prayer, you are saved and you are in Goshen. I want you to pray with me. Let us pray for nations, especially to our country and all nations around. And let us pray uh, for God to preserve our humanity. Father in the name of Jesus we pray unto you today we pray for our nations in the name of Jesus be the refuge send your angels I pray for nations visit Italy Lord Lord visit your people Lord, we show you nations. Deliver them in the name of Jesus. For Jesus Christ. For what he did on the cross. Visit your nations, Lord. We interfere. We interfere against every power of darkness that stand through this virus. In the name of Jesus, we pray that in weeks to come, good news should be spoken in all information and all technology systems, social media. Let us hear good news. Only for your son, and for the work he made on the cross. We don't pray do it for nations. They have nothing to offer you which is good. But do it for your son Jesus Christ. Father, I remind, I remind you of words he said on the cross. He said I'm thirsty. They gave him vinegar on that day. But in reality, he was thirsty of nations. He was dying for nations. He wanted, the only thing that could make him uh, out of thirstiness, it was receiving people and people are receiving him as a king. Father, your son is still, Jesus is still thirsty. And want to draw back to him every soul of men. For that walk on the cross. And for your son. 
Let us hear good news. As you appease this virus in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare back to the sender. And may the devil fail and destroyed in this moment. We thank you Jesus for your victory and for the good news. Amen. Amen. We thank you for following. We hope you've been blessed. For more information, please contact this number plus 250-7854-67247 or email us on gdubiemucho at gmail.com. Remain blessed.